Hello there, welcome to my channel. Um, I hope you are doing very well. I'm sure you all know who I am by now. Um, if you don't, I'm John. Um, welcome to my channel. It's going to be a few random things. Um, today we are doing a tag question um, thingy. It's a my first time. Um, I haven't read these questions yet, so it's going to be interesting. Um, hopefully now you can see the questions. And we'll get to it. Um, first up, I check in the morning when you wake up. Well, first up, you check when you wake up in the morning. Um, is usually... Um, one of my email addresses. Um, because I get quite a lot of emails thrown in the light because I subscribe to quite a lot of American companies. So my emails come through at like 4 and 5 o'clock in the morning. First broken bone. I haven't broken a bone ever. First foreign country you have visited. Um, Wales. <laughs> now that sounds a bit weird. Um, I'm from England. So technically Wales is a foreign country. Um, first Instagram, Twitter or Facebook post. Um, my first Facebook post was literally just to say um, that I was now on Facebook. I'm trying this thing out. I think it's like right, trying this thing out. I can't remember. I'm not sure. My first Twitter post was, I think again, um, my first Twitter post. It's really sad, my first Twitter post. First Instagram, I think, was a photo of something. I can't remember what it was. First makeup item, well, I, I don't. Um, black nail varnish, probably. Uh, because they used, to, they used to wear black nail varnish. First plane ride you've went on. I've never been on a plane. First time I ever got in trouble at home or in school. Um, that would be in year seven when I refused to do my homework and I got put on report. Um, I was on report for a good five or six months before mum even found out I was on report. And then I got into a lot of trouble. Uh, first time you're allowed to put on makeup, um, well that doesn't really apply. I wasn't, I didn't start waving, I didn't use my nail varnish until I was like 21. First YouTube you subscribed to? Um, that's an interesting question. Uh, first YouTuber. Um, could have been a band, one of the bands I listened to. I don't know. I honestly can't remember. Um, yeah. First time you went shopping on your own? Um, probably when I was about 12. Um, and I just kind of like had a bit of pocket money, so I went into town. Your first boyfriend and girlfriend. My first girlfriend was a girl called Rosa. And I had her, I didn't have her till I was 15. Um, until then, I wasn't really interested in girls. Technically, I'm still not interested in girls. I'm not interested in boys, but I'm not really interested in girls or women. Um, that's because of my sexuality kind of thing. I like women. Don't get me wrong, women are good. Um, but I wouldn't want one as a girlfriend because of how my sexuality lies. My first car. I don't have a car. Um, my first celebrity crush. Um, that could have been... Jet from the Gladiators, as in the UK Gladiators. Her real name is Diane Newdale, or Yodale. 
That could have been my first celebrity crush. I can't remember. Whether I had a crush on people before then, I don't know. But that was the first one that I remember. My first cooking experience was in year seven when I took cookery class. Um, I think I made a treacle tart or something like that. That was one of the first things I could remember cooking. Um, my first cooking experience at home though was as a little kid because mum was always cooking with us, like cooking and baking with us. So, you know, like something I've been brought up around, but my first cooking on my own was in year seven, in cookery class. My first crush, um, that would be, I can't remember how old I was. Um, I don't know, that could have been my first celebrity crush, could have been my first crush. I don't know. First ever boyfriend, I, I'm, a, I'm, I'm a bloke, so I don't have boyfriends. First ever cell phone was... Um, oh, I can't remember. It was this really weird kind of looking thing where you could inter interchange the front panel to different colours. I can't remember what it was called, but it was like beat by BT Cellnet. My first ever date was with that girl called Rosa. My first ever girlfriend was, oh, that's just repeated itself. Interesting. Um, first ever girlfriend again was that girl called Rosa. My first ever kiss. Um, I can't remember how old I was. Um, I was very young, like my first like kiss kiss, like just normal kind of kiss with a girl. Um, I was young, I was only like a little child. It was on top of one of those great big wooden and metal slides that you used to be able to get in um, like holiday parks. And it was with a girl called Rosemary. I still remember her name. I think I was only Possibly five or six, possibly younger, maybe only four, four or five, something like that. I don't know. I know I was young, and I know it, I think it was in Inglemells or Skegness or something, that kind of area. I think I could be wrong, but her name was definitely Rosemary. I remember that. There is a photo of us together somewhere in this house. Um, my first fear is of spiders, yeah, my first friend in college, I never went to college, my first heartbreak, um, I don't know about that one, I've never really been heartbroken. Not by a girl, anyway. I was a bit gutted when Rosa broke up with me, but I was never quite heartbroken about it. Because we, we knew it was going to happen. We kind of were kind of like avoiding each other that whole day, so we couldn't do it kind of thing. But we both, we both knew it was going to happen, so yeah, it was like a mutual thing. My first Instagram post, again, we've already discussed that. I think it was a photo of me or something. I can't remember. Um, my first internet activity was to set up my Hotmail address. My first job was um, at the co-op that was just up, up the road from me. It is now closed. My first language is English. My first love. Um, um, I don't know. I don't know whether you can call that Rosemary, the, the girl who was my first kiss, or whether you call that my first girlfriend, who was Rosa. I'm not sure. My first pet was a gerbil called 
Charles. My first piercing, and when did I get it? My first piercing was my librette, and I had that done when I was about 21, 22. Um, something like that. Um, I've, I've taken it out, but I did have quite a few in my face. My first sexual experience does not exist. I am not a sexual person. My first swear word, I did not swear. My first tattoo is my vampire glyph on the back of my neck. And it's the only one that I've got at the moment, but I do want more. My first thought today was... Crap. Literally just waking up and going, crap. My first time on a plane, we've already answered that. I haven't been on a plane. My first time on a ship, I haven't been on a ship. First time on a train, I think, was when I was... Um, 11 I could have been on trains before then I'm not sure what my first memory of being on a train was just after my dad died and we went on holiday my first toy I have no idea it was probably leg well I don't know the first toy that I can remember was like Lego I've always had Lego my first tweet, we've already done that. My first YouTube video was an introduction of who I am and it was terrible. My online profile picture. My first online profile picture was actually, um, I think it was either the Static X or the Fear Factory logo. On... Um, or well, it could have been a Rob Zombie picture, a Rob Zombie self-portrait. And that was on a website called Love at Lycos when I used to be on there. The first book I remember reading, um, I used to read those, oh, what, what do you call them? Those challenge books where you like a fantasy and you read a certain section and then it gives you an option where you go to either do this and go on to a certain page or do that and go on to a certain page then you read that bit and then you have to roll a dice and they're kind of like Dungeons and Dragons type thing my first concert I ever visited was Fear Factory Obsolete Tour where they were supported by Kilgore and Spineshank and that was before Spineshank became big so I was quite happy that I've seen them grow. The first movie I remember seeing um, was Oliver and Company. Um, it was for a friend's birthday. Her name was Rhea. And we all went to the cinema to see Oliver and Company, which is like a cartoon about a cat. First person I talked to today, I haven't talked to anyone today because it is only five five in the morning and everyone's in bed. The first person that ever broke your heart, we've already done the heartbroken question. The first person you text when something exciting happens, nothing exciting ever happens. And I, I, to be honest, I can't even remember the last time I sent a text. The first text I sent today, I haven't sent a text today. First thing I do every morning is open my eyes. First thing I do when I get home, I never leave home. The first time you ever get drunk, I'm teetotal, I don't drink. The first wedding I attended, um, I think that was my next door neighbour. We've been talking about this quite recently. I'm almost certain it was one of my next door neighbours daughter's wedding from what I have kind of pieced together from listening to mum talking about her conversations with my next door neighbour. When did you go to your first party? 
I can't remember. When did you have your first sleepover? Um, I've never really been on sleepovers. It wasn't really a sleepover thing. I used to have a mate come over. It would, sleep, it would be a sleepover, but he would come because we would be going out the next day and it was easier for him to come to me the night before we went out in the day on a day trip. And that was about when I was, what, nine, ten, I don't know, eleven, possibly. First time I got a speeding ticket, I can't drive, so I don't got a speeding ticket. First time I got into a fist fight, I've never been in a fist fight. So yeah, that's, that was them. Um, nothing really interesting there. Lots of vague answers. Um, but it was interesting to do. Nothing special. Um, yeah, so I'm going to leave it there, I think. I might record another video in a few seconds, I'm not sure yet. Um, this won't go out until I'm in my schedule in July. So it might be July or August when this goes out, I'm not sure. Um, what I'm planning on doing is just recording a load of videos. Um, recording in bulk, so that way I could spread it out over the month. Um, yeah, so I can catch up easier with videos and recording schedules and so on. So I'll see you all in another video. Bye.